okay guys you're welcome back to another important and useful video on the Anato Tech YouTube channel and in today's problem we have a situation here I'm developing my mobile application just get news app you can check it out on the Play Store or App Store probably should be out on App Store by the time you're seeing this video so I'm developing it and I'm using the Expo Dev client all right so I disconnected reconnected my network to one or two Wi-Fi devices and suddenly when I start my Expo both Expo Dev client because I have the Dev client this is the interface for the Dev client that is installed on my emulator is also installed on my physical android device when i i use the emulator to scan this um qr this qr or to enter this link directly which is the link the development link right that opens my project on a physical or virtual device i get this error on the screen you can see the development build there was a problem loading the project the development build encountered the following error failed to connect to my ip address and this port all right and then it says proceed real interceptor chant kt and all this goes on and on and then there is also a situation where if i end this now and i try the normal expo npx expo start which is to use expo go mobile application to have a preview of my app it will just say something went wrong i'll get this screen uh, something went wrong go back home even if i reload it doesn't open so i tried various things to solve this because it actually took me like an hour or two to resolve this um i tried various things i i i tried killing the ports i tried um restarting my system i restarted my wi-fi device i restarted my phone i closed um, um i ended the vs studio code and everything and still each time i restarted this um, expo dev client or expo go client i still have this ip address 192.168.8.101 then at port 8081 it was just not connecting so how do you solve this there are a couple of steps you need to take to solve this and i'm going to take it one after the other Number one thing you need to do is that I'm going to show you how you can solve this in command line interface, your win uh, Windows PowerShell or elevated command prompt. And I'll also show you how to solve this by using normal user interface. I'll search for PowerShell, then I'll right click and I'll say run as administrator. I'll say yes to the prompt. Now I'm just going to right click and paste this set x slash m slash react underscore native underscore packager underscore host name then the ip address this ip is your ipv4 the current ipv4 so the problem that is happening here is this your network ip address got reset because most of us we don't use static ip addresses our ip addresses changes from time to time so what's happening here is that your system's ip address has changed but react native is still using the previous one as the uh, ip address that it, it's using to start up your development client now because it's using that previous ip address when you try using your virtual device or your real device as your phone to scan and connect to development server or even to the expo go server it is not working because former ip address has changed it's no longer working even if you turn off the firewall it will not solve the problem so what you need to do is to find the current ip address you are using and then set the ip address that react native is seeing when it's starting this development environment or server to the current system ipv4 or ip address that you are using i hope this is not so complicated so but if you have any questions drop them in the comments below so how do you find out your current ip address go to the search and i'll search for 
CMD to CMD. So you can just start up and all you need to do is to type IP config and then you click enter. Now it's going to show you the details of your connection, including your current IPv4. So take note of the IPv4 address. You can just copy it and then come over back to your PowerShell. Remember we typed this earlier and then I want you to change this to what you've copied just now, all right? To the current IP address of your system and then you click enter. So once you do that, it's gonna say success, specified value was saved. So you can now simply close your uh, PowerShell and also close your command prompt. Hold down your control C so that you can end the server. You're gonna close the terminal and that's not the end. You're also going to close your VS Studio code. So when you reopen your VS Studio code now and you can open the terminal with a shortcut control and then the first key before one key on your keyboard or you just use the terminal button here and new terminal. All right, so now when you do NPS Expo Start Dev Client, enter. This time around, Metro is gonna start with the new IP address we just set. You can see 192.168.8.100, then it's using the port 8081. Now, when you come when you come back to your dev client, you're gonna find out that the application is going to connect successfully. So you can see we have a build here, and you can see it's bundling. You can see both here is bundling here and also is bundling here and please guys check out the gisgate news app best news app that you can find in the play store right now and it's coming on app store very soon watch the dates when you're watching this video um it should be out at least a week after you've seen this video on app store if it's not on app store yet as at the time I released this video. All right, so you can see now that my dev client is working successfully. And also if you end this and start up Expo Go, you will realize that the Expo Go will also connect to the um, Expo server that you're gonna create successfully. So I hope, I hope this helps you. And if it helps you, please thumbs up to this video. Give me a comment in the comment section below and also let me know if you have other solutions before we go i promise to show you how to solve this using an e another method which does not involve command line interface because some people are just scared about command line so the other way you can solve this is just come over here to your search button all right and you search for environmental variables so choose this one edit system environment variables so when you click it it's going to open up this minimize this one it's going to open this up then click on environmental variables then you need to come down here check if this react native packager is already set you can see it's set here because we used remember we used our powershell to set this all right but it's if it hasn't been set you can do new I'm just going to paste this and I'm going to delete this part. I'm going to delete this part. So you can set this, then you put that IP address, the one you're using now, you put it here. All right. And then you click OK. So once you do that, remember to kill your terminal. Remember to, once you click OK, remember to OK it here too. And then close the environmental variables uh, screens let me just show an example it's already set so it just what it did was just overwrite what was existing here already so i'm gonna click ok and then i'll click ok so that's what you do then you kill the terminal close vs studio reopen it and that should solve the problem for you when you start your development client server or your expo go server again i hope this helps you and of course, subscribe to the channel. 
it will encourage me your subscription liking the video will encourage me to make much more videos you can see in my channel i create these kind of solutions when i come across these problems i create videos to help solve these issues for people so please endeavor to subscribe and also follow me on instagram or twitter and other social media handles at anatu tech thank you so much for watching namaste respect and see you in the next one bye for now turn on the notifications after subscribing bye for now